was already in the military. I was on the USS George Washington. I was a junior in high school. I called in, I was in third grade. Um, we just got called in for recess, um, from, from uh, morning recess. Stationed on the USS Kitty Hawk um, over in Yokosuka, Japan. When the plane hit the first tower, uh, I still remember exactly where I was and exactly who told me, and birthing cleaners pretty much all shut down and we huddled around the TV, and I was absolutely positive that it was some sort of pilot error or something like that. Um, but when the second plane hit, we were all pretty sure that uh, the suspicions that it was a terrorist attack were true because most of us on board were there um, on that 2000 deployment where the coal got attacked. That was also the George Washington Battle Group, so that was uh, fresh in our minds because that wasn't even a year beforehand. So um, it, was, uh, it was pretty intense, especially when the, when the buildings went down. Because our parents actually lived, I mean, worked in New York, and they all dropped us off um, to school and then they rode the train together and we remembered that uh, the stop that they stopped at was actually underneath the World Trade Center so we all got scared that um, our parents um, just got killed. Um, we uh, heard an announcement go over the one in um, the intercom at school and it was saying there was an attack in New York and uh, par parents will be picking up the kids uh, soon. Um, I knew for a fact that my dad had actually been on the train because I, uh, I had seen him off that morning and uh, say goodbye to him. Uh, it wasn't until uh, late that night that he actually walked in from the back door and he was uh, covered in um, uh, ashes and he had blood on him and everything and he was crying. It was, it was really late that, um, that night and uh, we hadn't heard from him since that morning when he left the message for my mom. So the whole day we thought uh, he wasn't coming home. I think as a country, we learned that yes, we're vulnerable to attack. I know it's something that hasn't happened to us in a very long time, but that it also showed us how much we can come together as a country, that we still have it in us to care for one another, even for strangers, that we have that capacity to be united. It gave me that sense of pride that I could be born in a country like that, that, you know, my children would be born in a country like that, where as, as much petty stuff that goes on, that when it really comes down to it, we'll be there for each other. All of a sudden, being in the military got real. And uh, our ship was, the Kitty Hawk was on a, was on a uh, its own kind of forward rotation, so it was it was gone pretty f frequently. We were just there, uh, getting fixed up in a CIA kind of period, and we were gone in like three weeks. Uh, for the Kitty Hawk to get up and deploy that quickly, uh, we knew it was serious, and it was 
this it was the the strangest kind of kind of cruise because number one we didn't know how long we were going to be gone we didn't know exactly where we were going and it didn't matter because there was a, just a completely different attitude again now I think everything is shut down on the base um, you know people are, are kind of nervous and but I don't remember anybody feeling scared about what we were gonna do. I feel like everybody was ready to go do what we we're gonna do. I, I hope that that's the biggest lesson because you can't prevent every bad thing that ever happens, but you can uh, maximize the positives and uh, you know just make sure that you're letting people know how you feel about them every day because they could be gone tomorrow for sure. <laughs>